Hi guys, okay, big rush. It is 4.40 and the sun goes down at 5.10 and I really wanna capture a sunset today. It's been months, it feels like, since I've been sunrise or sunset. Okay, let's do this. I'm heading to Sam Lawrence Park that gives me an incredible view of the entire city. Yay! <laughs> How come the stars come to shine when it's dark from so far away show us where we are what makes the sun go to sleep every night and what's it dreaming of i wonder Sky sometimes hides behind the clouds. Maybe it's just like me, a little bit scared of heights. Why does the rain always keep on pouring down when it's gray outside? It really makes me wonder. Oh my goodness, it looks so amazing. And I have to hurry because <laughs> I'm losing the light. This was such a last minute decision to, whoop, to run out. Okay, I remembered. Hold on. <laughs> I remembered my tripod this time. Oh. Oh, it looks so beautiful. <laughs> Seventy to three hundred off, sixteen to thirty five on. What wonder? I'm gonna shoot down this path. I don't have much time, so it's just gonna be like, oh, that looks cool, let's snap. Okay, this looks cool, let's snap. All right, this looks cool, let's snap. When I say cool, I mean cold. It's cold. I need to change settings on my camera. I had been recording in two SD cards and now I want to switch to one. What makes the sun go to sleep every night and what's it dreaming of? I wonder. So I'm taking pictures out this way and I turn around and the color behind me is just incredible with the flags and everything. So ISO 100 F11 and I'm focusing here in the front by these benches and uh, it's giving me about one eighth of a second right now, but I'm going to switch to my polarizer and see what a long exposure might do to these quickly moving clouds. <laughs> Middle of the road It's just a feeling of a distant melody unknown I was doing fine I minded my own business Till the day you took me home You 
came into my life like a sweet embrace, swept me off my feet and made me whole again. Now behind me is all pink, <laughs> and the color on this side is almost gone. So. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna have to recompose the color disappeared like in that 30 seconds and that's okay <laughs> because I got to see it Wow! how gorgeous is this oh and cold <laughs> oh that's cold oh <laughs> wind corridor here I would love to step over this fence. There's this green spot here where I could take pictures, but that would be silly. I'm not going to do that. But maybe I'll put my tripod on that side and work it from this side. Let's see if we can do that. I want to see your face. Never will I be, be the same again. Such a huge scene. I think I might go for my 70 to 300 now and just kind of zoom in on some of the details because, oh, it's just, oh, it's so beautiful. The color's changing so fast. Oh, it's so beautiful. Take me to the place we first met. You came into my life like a sweet embrace. Swept me off my feet and made me whole again. You came in my life. I wanna see your face. Never will I be be the same again. Never will I be be the same again. got manual focus on because with the two uh, neutral density filters it can be a little it can be a little bit hard to focus so f8 30 seconds ISO 100 and on this side I'm liking the way it works I'm not sure if 30 is going to be too much so I have the industry in the distance here blue sky above that then a band of cloud which is kind of a lighter whitish gray and then pink above it and it's just beautiful and I love the way the filters are kind of bringing out that top the layers of color now the clouds are a bit I'm gonna have to change this so I'm gonna go down from I uh, f8 to f5.6 which is my quickest here. I'm going to go up to ISO 200 because the clouds are streaking very quickly and they're actually <laughs> moving out of my composition so I'm going to have to move over. And I hope. All right two hands I need to recompose. <laughs> So I have this one building right in the middle and I'm now down to 10 seconds, which is okay. <laughs> we'll see. I'm not sure about the composition. It's kind of one of those I'm going to have to see it on the computer. Oh. Even if I get nothing today. <sighs> okay. Let's take a look. I'm just 
gonna sit here for a moment and enjoy this. This was incredible. I just jumped in my car at <laughs> 4.30. The sun was going down at 5.10 and I raced over here. Part of the reason why I came here is because uh, any other location that I could think of would have meant arriving after sunset. Oh, it's really cold, it's windy, the breeze is blowing, but it was one of those days where, <laughs> this is gonna sound silly, but everything went wrong. Have you ever had one of those days? I'm not talking about major things, you know, the world didn't fall apart or anything, but it just seemed that there were an extra amount of stresses today and this is exactly what I needed. This being outside and seeing the beautiful sunset colors that someone's texting me <laughs> are just incredible. You guys, when you're having a hard day, even if you're just going to run out for a few minutes like this, just, uh, just grab your camera and go, even if it's a, a cell phone or whatever. Equipment doesn't matter. Uh, circumstances don't matter. What matters is being outdoors and just being creative and letting the, the wind, the, the trees, the sound of flags, uh, everything just seep in and make everything good. So thanks for coming along, guys. I had a great time. I hope you did too. Talk to you soon. Bye. <laughs>